What is up, my good people? The name is Pixel Love, and we are back again with another episode of Earthbound. If you're wondering what's all this chicken noise that you hear, I actually have some chicks in my inventory, but I'll explain that later. In the last episode, I basically traveled all around Tucson as much as I could, and I just wanted to explore the city, you know, see what it had and whatnot. I was jumped by a bunch of people, including Everjet over here. This little piece of shit. And I had to end off the episode uh, because I just was. I just didn't have anything. I was absolutely like. fucking broke. And so now I've taken a bit of time to go through what I had in my inventory, what I had in my money, and what Tucson offered. And. It also explains some of the chicks, which some of them have now actually became chickens. This was a tip that I read. Um, if you buy some of the eggs from the from the fresh egg guy, and you wait for them to hatch and become full grown chickens, you get so much money from it. Holy shit! Holy shit, man! A hundred ten? They said it was only ninety-eight. You know what? I'm just gonna buy more for, more fresh eggs for, from this man. And yeah, they're only they're only twelve dollars. So the the investment on it is absolutely worth it. You are more you you get more money from this from investing in chick eggs than you do from crypto. Think about that for a minute. <laughs> Anyways, in this episode, I just want to get another feel for, uh, not another feel, but just, I want to explore the rest of the town. I haven't really explored the southwestern part of the town. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to be doing this walking because if you've noticed, I don't have the bike anymore. I I not accidentally, I actually called the Escargo Express from my sister who I didn't even realize that I had in, in Earthbound. And I... Uh, gave away the bike because honestly as much as the bike was cool it wasn't really necessary for it to be in my inventory in all honesty I don't even know why I'm going over here I just want to see if there's something over here nope not at all <laughs> but yeah it's, um, the bicycle wasn't the only thing I had also thrown away my cold remedy and I also I actually bought the for sale sign from this guy um, and supposedly you could use it and then somebody is gonna come up to you and want to buy shit off of you So it could be oh my god these chicks It, it could it could very well um, be handy uh, some other time just not right now Man look at this investment look at this investment yeah, I'm mostly buying these right now just so I could get like a few quick bucks here and there, but I'm sorry if you guys really are gonna get bothered by all the chick noises, but I'll sell them off eventually. Don't worry So what do we have over here? That stupid slob the apple kid always asks me for something to eat. He's the inventor. He should invent some food for himself. He's the inventor. Why don't? Why doesn't he invent some bitches? I'm nuts about this one kid inventor. No, not the airhead dweeby apple kid. I'm talking about the incredibly hot orange kid. So we have the apple kid and we have the orange kid. Interesting. Paula isn't here. She suddenly left and I don't know where she went. What is... Why is there a cat up there? Why is there a cat up there? Ooh, pizza place. Welcome to Mock Pizza. We don't sell pizza here. We only deliver. Let me give you our number so you can place an order sometime. Hey! Okay, for a minute I was like, is it? please don't tell me it's going to be like in my inventory. But then, I actually don't have any space in my inventory. I'm thinking about catching a bus to Threed. I heard there are ghosts along the way. I wonder if the bus will have to turn around and come back. 
People in Happy Happy Village are fanatical about strange religion. Maybe they've got some sort of bad fever. Be careful. If you go to the east, you could run into trouble. Peaceful Rest Valley and Happy Happy Village are waiting for you. I've also heard there are UFOs in the Peaceful Rest Valley. Interesting, interesting. So Happy Happy Village is to our east. I hear that a girl named Paula was kidnapped while helping out at the Polestar Preschool. Okay, so three is down south and Happy Happy Village is to our right. This is a bus stop. Danger, do not stand in the street. Read a schedule from the sidewalk. Oh wow, would you look at that? Um, nah, I'm not gonna get on it now. I should actually visit the preschool, see what's going on here. When I grow up, I wanna be just like Paula. Because we already have idols here. Well, I wanted to play with Paula, but she's gone somewhere. Paula is like a mother to me. Jesus Christ, people! You might, you might, you may not be able to comprehend my emotions. No shit, I can't comprehend it. I might have a baby face, but I possess the mind of an adult. I beg your pardon. That's even worse. If, if you have the mind of an adult, and <laughs> you're saying that a child is your mother, like come on, is like a mother to you. Uh. Whistle, whistle anywhere, it makes me smile all the while. I'm Paula's mother, I'm busy taking care of these kids. Shouldn't worry about Paula, she has a guardian angel it seems. Interesting. Who the hell is this guy? So, you want to see Paula? Many come here to see her miraculous powers, but they're just leeches. So, are you from a TV station or what? I don't know. To meet you or not to meet you can only be decided by Paula. Paula said that she would only meet with a boy named Ness. Hey, I'm Ness. Also Pixel, but I guess I'm Ness. You will save the world. Let me go call Paula. Oh no, she's kidnapped. She doesn't seem to be here. I wonder where she went. Oh no. Like the entire fucking town didn't tell me about this later. Uh, earlier. Um, what do we have here? Oh, fuck! Kidding me? I should probably go sell off these chickens then. Honestly, I should probably just wait, <laughs> wait until like all the chick, all the chicks and chickens are hatched so I could sell them off right away. Cause I'm pretty sure some people have already gotten sick of hearing all these chick noises. Don't get me wrong, so have I. What about the cat that's up there? What do I do about that? Are you happy now? The happy, happy religious group. I mean, I'm happy to a certain extent, but I wouldn't say I'm happy, happy. I like how the orange kid and the apple kid have their own fucking like little signs. Greetings, I'm Orange Kid the Inventor. Have you heard of me? I'm a bit embarrassed about my reputation. I have a lot of inventions in development, but I'm short on cash. I'm basically a happy-go-lucky person, so I'm not worried. Now, I'm working on this machine that would really help you in the, rest of, in the peaceful Rust Valley. I hope it's ready soon. What? You're actually willing to help finance the project? <sighs> sure, I guess. Oh, goody, would it be okay to get $200 to buy materials? 200 seems like a lot. But, he is an inventor. And apparently he is the better inventor, I guess. Your support have your, your support should have a tremendous impact on all mankind. Yeah, I know I have two minutes. I hope you'll accept this. I'll have to come back to you later, Chief, because I have a lot of chickens so don't worry i'll be back and if for whatever god knows reasons i can't come back and get it then you're dead to me oh lord 
I can see now why there's a discrepancy between both of these inventors. Well, I sort of neglected doing my housework. I know it's a bit of a pigsty, but anyway, I'm Apple Kid. I haven't taken a bath in quite a while, so I may be kind of stinky. By the way, I'm starving. Do you have something to eat? If you do, can I have some? No. Go ahead and make yourself comfortable anyway. And I could give him the bread roll. I have a mouse. No one has given me a name yet. Cool. God damn, what's with all these inventors having like fucking broken machines inside? Alright, you know what? I'm getting this kid like a hamburger and see what he wants. <laughs> and, or at least see what he'll do. God damn, this one last fresh egg is not busting open. I've told you a thousand times, munch munch. I won't join the happy, happy religious group, munch munch munch. If you get pushy with me, I'll pelt you with peanuts. Munch, munch. I'll just keep munching away, G. I have a lot of old broken junk, but I hate to throw anything away. If you have a friend who is knowledgeable about mechanics, the person might be able to fix something for you overnight. And a friend like that will be so handy. Meow. Meow to you too. Nyeh. So I basically have seen everything that this town has got to offer me. And I only need one more chick left to to hatch. So I guess I'll have to wait for that. I guess in the meantime, I should actually probably like sell these guys. Get them something to eat. I'll probably go for... Actually, I probably should have given him an egg. I actually probably should have given him an egg. Hey, what's good, man? Can you buy my chickens, man? Honestly, I'm kind of glad I heard about this because this is a hell of a cheap way to get money. All right, you little pig. Here's your fucking banana. Do you have something to eat? If you do, can I have some? Sure. Here. Oh my god, everyone's a crook these days. Fucking hell, man. What is it with everyone? What is it with everyone wanting my fucking money that my hard earned money? Or maybe it wasn't hard earned, I guess I just did a loophole, but whatever. You took care of my master. In return, I want to give you this. Please take it and say nothing. What did I get? The receiver phone? Oh, I must be in your way. What the hell is the receiver phone? Is this just an auto phone? Now I can receive important calls. This phone only receives calls. You cannot make any outgoing calls. Um. Okay. Super Orange Machine Suproma. Please use it for spreading peace and goodwill on the earth. All right, now what does this thing do? The full name is a super orange. What does it do? I really just gave $200 to this piece of shit, didn't I? Oh my fucking god, I... Alright, you know what? I hate both of these inventors. Fuck off with both of these inventors. Yes, yes, I heard, I heard you chicken. I heard you loud and clear. Alright, let's get on this bus. 
This is the bus to three, but I'm not sure if we can get there or not. The fare is two dollars. I'm fine with two dollars. I think this could get ugly though. How ugly are we talking about? Oh my god, is this is this the return of the epic train ride? Except that instead of the epic train ride, it's the epic bus ride. Is this the return of the epic bus ride? Wait a minute, there's a present there! No! Oh shit, come on! Come on, dog! Alright, you know what? I can't. I just can't. I just... I simply cannot. I refuse to simply just let go of the fact that there's a fucking present down there. I have to get it. Kinda really wish I had the bicycle now. Doesn't even show me that I'm on the map anymore. That's a thing. Fuck, 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 fuck. Dog, dog, dog. Come on, come on. We can't do this, right? God damn it. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Are you kidding me? A skip sandwich? That's all it was? Are you telling me I manipulated time and space in this video game for nothing? For just a stupid skip sandwich? You're kidding me! You're joking! <laughs> I wasted so much time getting here for nothing. Fucking hell, man. I had to stop the epic bus ride for a skip sandwich. That's a sin right there, if you ask me. But yeah, I, like I said, I had to manipulate space and time because there was a lot of blue looking folks down there and I did not want to get into a fight because I really don't have health items, let alone any psychic, any psychic points. Yeah. You, you you can't tell me like this isn't just a parallel to the Earthbound Beginnings epic train ride Because you literally have the tunnel you literally go diagonally And wait a minute Are you? Fucking kidding me. <laughs> we couldn't go we couldn't go through. Alright. Alright, fine then. And you know what? It might actually be a good idea for me to go back to the bus station because there is something I actually forgot. I'm just a little disappointed. This is supposed to be the epic bus ride, and you can't even get me to your destination? Dog, come on. Come on! Even my even my bus riders fucking give send me the, the direction that I need to go to And they're late <laughs> they're always late Anyways the thing that I was missing was this teddy bear Now I don't know what it does it does something that's all I know Oh shit! Teddy bear, a cute teddy bear. Is it just gonna follow me like that? This is interesting. Interesting choice. I don't give a shit what anyone tells me. I'm paying the fare once again just to get on this epic bus ride. It, it, it's it's a nice little jazzy tune. I don't know if it can beat the original though. I generally don't. What it does beat it though is definitely the graphic. The graphic department. This looks pretty good. What does it say? Grey home bus? Is that what I'm reading? Or is it supposed to say Greyhound? Sounds like a familiar type of like type of bus. Around here, around these places. 
For some reason, the bus returned to Tucson. Yep, just like I thought. Starting to get the creeps. Sure, I'll get off here. Hey, thanks, G. Now I got me and my teddy bear. Which, by the way, if somebody ever gave me a big teddy bear like that as a gift, I would be so happy. The 2 3 tunnel to the town of Threed. Like, look at this thing. It's big, it's probably squishy, it's fluffy. Like, come on. Eee, I don't want to go there. Why don't you look at that? Some people are playing Monster Hunter. It's just a hunch, but I think the ghosts in the tunnel don't like anything upbeat and cheerful. When I was driving in the tunnel, I was playing some grooving tunes and the ghosts moved slower. I think the ghosts can't stand anything positive. I mean, they're ghosts. They're dead. Their life is literally... Their life literally cannot be positive. Ooh. Go back. Go back. Back. Ooh. Go back. Back. Back, I say. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my... Wait, guys, come on, please. What the hell? <laughs> Can I just not fight them? Look, I don't know what's going on. All I just know is that I'll probably just have to level up. I mean, like... They're already here, so like, I should take advantage, should I not? Okay, that was kind of what to say the least. Oh, come on, the old man had his back turned on me. We got a hippie, people. We got a hippie. Do you know what that means? Let's go, we got Chuck Berry back in his bitch. Let's fucking go. Oh no, 15. <laughs> He's the ruler? What's the ruler gonna do to you in this fight, hippie? Oh shit, I should not have made fun of him. Come on, my G. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was, but I'm losing 20 to 30 health. That's kind of... It's not really good. It's not really cash money of him. Oh, for God's sakes. You thought, didn't you? Man... I wanted to get that magic butterfly, but it just slept. What is a teddy bear supposed to do anyways? Okay, so this is clearly the one of the weakest ones. 26 to the teddy bear? What does a teddy bear do to you? Wait a minute, is that what's be is that's what is that's what's happening here? Is a teddy bear like just Eating shit. Let's go. I timed that perfectly. I used a life up so that way that magic butterfly could be give me back some of my PSI power. Alright, old man ain't gonna do shit here. Actually, no, I don't want to deal with the old man. I'd rather get the hippie. All right, let's see if I can, if I can juke him. Okay, I guess the hippie's just gone. Oh well, fuck me, I guess. Oh, yeah, that is what's happening. They're attacking the teddy bear. I'm assuming the teddy bear is gonna. Gonna get destroyed eventually. I just don't know how much health it has. Ooh, 
baby. I love it when I when I level up. Okay, now I actually have a PSI ability called Paralysis. But I can't check what it is. Of course I can't. P -p -p Paula, where are you? Stop for you, my piece of pie. <laughs> this man's still looking for his girl, isn't he? All right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna go farm for XP. Cause there's nothing ever wrong with farming for XP. Unfortunately, I don't have the teddy bear anymore. It kind of, it kind of got smoked, not gonna lie. Not only did that lady get smoked, but so did my teddy bear. I would have bought a replacement teddy bear, but I filled up my entire inventory with fresh eggs, or as much as I could. Cause I can't real, I can't put, I can't give Escargot Express my ATM card, sound zone, or my receiver phone. Obviously I'm not gonna give them my equipped items because they, I have them equipped, I need them. And the fact that I can give away my town map, but I'm not going to be able to use it, kind of sucks. I guess that's one thing that Earthbound is lacking that beginnings had better. That you lose, you automatically lose an item spot just for a map. Like, come on. If, if I'm like running low on on my like HP or anything like that, I do have my psychic points to figure out the length of things. I can use my psychic points to obviously heal myself up. And that's where I realized about the magic butterfly is that you can, the magic butterflies are there to replenish your PSI. And so what I could try doing is if I see a magic butterfly, I go to it and then I will automatically like use life up and then boom, I get my PSI back and I get some health back. Damn right, surprise opening, bitch. Fuck. So much for the surprise opening. Also, to those people who finally were like, oh, no more chick sounds. I'm sorry that you're going to have to listen to chick sounds now again. What I'm not sorry is that once again, I have the surprise opening. Get the hell out of here, lady. Let's fucking go. 330 exp for the next level. Well, it's not not so bad. So what did I just hear? All right, so I already have a chicken, so that's pretty good. I'll probably stop the grind once I get all of them at chickens. I'm not too sure. I just kind of want to level up, you know. And I feel like leveling up while earning a bit of moolah at the same time, like that, that success right there. But I can't really gain XP if there's nobody that's going to spawn. Dare I say, will I have to use my powers of manipulating time and space once again to get more enemies? Or the old man can show up right then and there. Alright, old man. Mm, get the hell out. Oh, fuck. Hey, let's go. We leveled up. That's what I like to see, baby. Happy! I'm sorry, but I'm actually a really big fan of Johnny Be Good, so. Oh shit. Uh, can we kill him? Let's go. But I actually did show like some comparisons, like to some of my other friends on Discord, I guess. About like the difference between like Chuck Berry and like the the retro age hippie, and like the comparison's very strong. Like just the openings in and of itself is very comparable. Also, I don't know why, but once again I'm yawning like a son of a bitch right as I'm recording. 
God, you got you gotta love it, huh? You gotta love yawning. <laughs> Honestly, I really need to work on and fix my sleep schedule because it is pretty bad. I tend to go to sleep like around two or three in, at the at night, and I don't wake up until like. 11, 12, even sometimes 1 in the afternoon. Like, that's bad. That Like, I'm not being productive at all. Like, that's not being productive at all whatsoever. And the thing that I do want to try making is obviously more content. But I can't do that with my stupid shitty sleep schedule. The only time I wake up early is really to, like, post on, like, Instagram that the podcast is out or whatnot. That's about it. I have because I kind of have to wake up because I I always try to post a podcast like around 9 9 a.m. so that people are able to like listen to it on like their morning routine and whatnot but yeah like I I need to fucking work on sleeping holy shit also if I could sleep more it might be able to help me with my Obviously, like I said, my yawning problem. Good. God damn. I'm I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know why. Every time I try to record, whether it be like at four four p.m. or like three or like three, even six p.m. or whatnot, it's always the same. I'm just yawning like a madman. Like for God's sakes. And it doesn't sound good. It does not sound good at recording it <laughs> at all. Even when I'm editing. I'm honestly trying my best. It's brutal up in here. I'm also a little conflicted about the news that I just heard earlier. I'm recording this... Well, I, I, I technically am recording this on Sunday, so I'm going to have to edit right away. But um, recently, they just announced that... The Overwatch 2 uh, early access build will be on October 4th, and as an Overwatch player, like I'm hyped. Like I, I, I can't wait that it, I can't wait for this to like finally come out. I've actually like really, really wanted to try out Overwatch 2 since I didn't get a chance to play the beta of it. But the thing is, is like if I could, like I'm, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this before, but I would like to make some like Overwatch content. Like I don't care like if it's dead or whatnot. I, I want to try like dipping my foot into it because like as somebody who's like really shit at the game like you guys can see like the pers my perspective an actual bronze player's perspective but my computer just can't handle it i literally went into the replay viewer the other day just to like get a clip just one singular clip of overwatch it was about less than a minute yeah i'm pretty sure it was about less than a minute obs could not handle it OBS was literally recording this thing at 10 to 13 frames per second. Somehow, even the Xbox Game Pass Studio, whatever, even that thing can like record at like 20 plus frames. OBS could not handle it at all whatsoever. And I'm kind of upset because like, like I said before, this I want. I. I kind of want to like dip my foot into it, so you can see like my genuine reactions and whatnot. So I don't know if like I should probably look for a job or whatnot to like obviously get some money and shit and whatnot. But the thing is, is like if I get a job, then all of a sudden now I'm not gonna have as much time making content and whatnot. It's already a bad enough schedule. I already have a bad enough schedule. It's not. It's not that. I don't have time, it's just that I don't know how to use that time. And, well, doesn't help about my shitty sleep schedule as I mentioned before. But yeah, like, maybe if I could get like a souped up giga computer or whatnot, I could be able to like, at least fucking record it at a good 30 frames at the very least, because 10 frames is pitiful. I remember when I tried recording Cuphead and that thing gave me 10 frames and I was like, what the hell is going on here? Yeah, my, like, 
A handbag strap. What the fuck does a handbag strap do? It's just base. It's just basically a stun. No. Not worth my time. I also kind of really wish there was a magic butterfly nearby, because I'm just gonna have to use this right away. Oh, would you look at that? Almost all my chicks are now chickens. And also another thing that actually has come up is that the actual Xbox Game Pass released, um, well, they just announced that Persona 3 Portable, Persona 4 Golden, and Persona 5 Royal are all coming to the Game Pass. And it got me thinking, should I actually bring back Persona 3? Because... I look back at those two videos, and they were pretty, pretty bad, pretty awful. Albeit, they were like, <laughs> they were generally like my first two videos, so like, like I, I might be looking at this later on in life, and I'd be like, yeah, these Earthbound videos were as bad, I don't know why I'm talking shit about my first two videos. But yeah, no, I was just wondering, oh, they're all chickens now, <laughs> I was wondering, I was like, why did they stop chirping? But, yeah, I was wondering if, whether or not I should actually bring back Persona 3. Because, like, I actually have F FES, Persona 3 FES, so. And I technically, I technically still have not finished it. Like, I'm, I'm not even close with the journey. Well, actually, I'm pretty sure I am almost done with the journey. But I still need to do the answer as well, which I have not not heard about it at all whatsoever and the fact that portable is getting is getting a game um, is getting released on the on the game pass is like i kind of want to try it not gonna lie yeah it's in 2023 but i want to try it for crying out loud i guess i could get like an emulator i guess i could get an emulator and just get it on there but i don't know just an Xbox Game Pass seems a little bit more easier for me. I could either do that, I could either restart Persona 3, I could try Golden as... Well, I already have finished Golden. I already did Golden in my spare time. And by spare time, I mean like in 2020 before I even bothered with the idea of releasing content. And I don't know, I don't know if I could be able to like do Golden because like... You're not gonna see genuine reactions or whatnot, and that's another reason why I kind of don't want to do Persona 3 again. Cause for the most part, it's not even gonna be genuine, other than like the answer. That's that's my gripe. I don't know if I can redo games that I've already done before, but the thing is, is some of the games that I've already done before are really good games that I want to show off. So I'm conflicted. This goes outside the boundaries of just Persona in itself. And don't even get me started on Royal. Royal is a fucking fantastic game and if you guys want to see like one of my guys, one of my friends actually play Persona 5 Royal, like I I have I have one of my guys, Rivers Vera. Um he he actually shouts me out a lot on, on his channel as well, so shouts out to you Rivers. But yeah, he's playing under he's actually playing Undertale right now and it's hilarious he's also playing persona 5 royal albeit a new game plus like i was thinking i was like should i should i actually try persona or not not should i try persona should i try recording it because the problem with persona is that i can't really do it in the style that i'm doing shit right now because persona is a really big game absolutely massive and i wouldn't even be able to show like a fucking fraction of what actually goes behind the scenes because there's just so much how should I say this down downtime is that how I would describe it downtime oh let's go I got all my PSI back and there's just a lot of down <laughs> yeah I guess I would call it downtime there's a lot of downtime and just like Obviously, like, I don't know what would be good. I don't know what people would want to see. I don't even know if, 
It'll even come out good. So, I'll leave you guys with this question. If you really want to see me try to record, like, Persona, um, just tell me in the comments down below. And if, if there's any compensation for anyone, I guess if you want, I'll do it on, like, the absolute most brutal difficulty on a man. I'll do it on Merciless for all I care. I actually have tried it on Merciless. It's not as bad as... It's not as bad as I thought it would be. Actually, what am I saying? It is pretty bad, but... I've, I've had worse. I've played Earthbound Beginnings for crying out loud, and there is no difficulty on here. Yeah, like, I actually do still, like, want to try, like, obviously playing new games that I haven't. Earthbound Beginnings and Earthbound were literally two games that I've never played that I've always wanted to play. Delta Rune 2, that came out, and I recorded it, albeit I kind of wish the audio was better, but I still did it nonetheless, and I enjoyed it. And I know there's, and I know there's this one little bitch, I'm calling you out, <laughs> where he's been asking me to play Omori this whole fucking time. And like, Omori looks interesting, not gonna lie. Shit, I even have like, Danganronpa on my PlayStation 4 that I still haven't played. I could do that. I, I could do so many other things, I could do like so many other games that I have in my library that I haven't played, but the thing is, is like, there's a reason why I keep going back to games that I've already played, because I enjoy them. I like to replay them. And that's, as, as you've seen in Earthbound Beginnings, sometimes a new game just doesn't click with me, <laughs> and I'll feel like it's more of a chore than it is fun for the most, for the most part. I don't know, I'm conflicted. Like I said before, if you guys have any ideas of what I, of what you want to see, um, just tell me in the comments. Because even though in the end it comes down to what I want to do, what I want to do is what you people want to see. And so we can't have this back and forth conversation of me being like, of me being like, I don't know if I want to do this and then you guys do like, do whatever you want because that, that doesn't help me. <laughs> If, if, if there's a game that you guys would really want to see me trying doing, like, just ask me and I'll try to do it. It might not be something as intense as, let's say, Overwatch, because, God forbid, OBS might actually crash on me if I actually do record it. I might not be even be able to do something like Control. Because I heard from some of my other friends, no, of one of my other friends, that's also a pretty intensive game that he ran on his laptop. Like, my PC is ass. Like, I bought it for, like, personal use. And personal use did not encompass gaming. Did not encompass gaming at that point in time. However, as soon as I, as soon as I realized, oh, shit, I actually have a computer now. The first thing I did was download Minecraft and Discord. And before you know it, I got back into PC gaming once again. So, fuck me, I guess. This was actually a cheap computer as well. It was like four hundred dollars, and I had like and I have like two terabytes worth of worth of um, just storage, and, and it came with two monitors. So I mean, I'm not I'm not complaining so much. It gets the job done for what I would try for what I try to make it do at that point in time. But like now, like I really need an upgrade. I really need an upgrade. Also should probably upgrade these monitors as well because they don't even do 1080p. Honestly, like, not gonna lie, the biggest thing that's probably holding me back from like trying to like full on go and do this is the fact that I have to edit. <laughs> and like, there's nothing wrong with me. I don't know if, actually no, I don't know if I wanna say there's nothing wrong with me in editing. The problem just comes down to I would mu I'd much rather do the recording. I'd much rather just sit here and like talk for as much as I need to do. I'd much rather do that than like edit. 
it may be because like I'm just a slow editor. It may also just be because like I don't really know how like what's the best way I want to approach editing. Cause I kind of just clip. That's pretty much it. It's not like I even have a great editing software. I use Shotcut, which is free to use. It gets the job done, yeah, but it's like it's, it's not like Adobe Premiere or anything like that. Also, what the fuck? The old man was turned around. You're kidding me. Yeah, that that's really the, the biggest thing that puts me behind. And I it it, it it would be hella stupid of me. Really stupid of me to try and like actually try to find like another editor or whatnot. But a guy who can like edit. Because like at that point in time, like at that point in time, to me personally, it feels like I don't even know what I wanna do with my content. It just feels like I just wanna like I said before, it just feels like I just wanna sit down and just talk, that's it. I don't even doesn't even give me an idea of what I want to like put out. I I'm more creative with words than I am with pictures. That's the problem. That's really what I would boil it down to. And like, there's there are some people who, like I do watch and whatnot. I like their videos are like amazingly edited and whatnot. Like, it would be nice for me to get to that point, but <laughs> I first need to figure it out. Where's the starting point? And I mean, like, I guess the starting point is for me to just clip and whatnot and do what I'm trying to do right now. But over time, like, I have to develop. Over time, I have to figure out what's the best route for it. And I don't know. This could just be me making excuses. This just could be me making bullshit and whatnot. But, like, I just don't have a clear road. It's just as simple as that. I don't know if I need to invest in the software that I have, if I need to invest in new software. I don't know if it's because I'm not looking at the software that I have right now and using the, and using it to its fullest potential. I don't even know if what I'm thinking of doing is even right for me. But you know what I am good at doing? I'm damn good at talking. I've been, been sitting here for who knows how long. How long that I, I've just been talking here, spinning my bullshit or whatnot, and there's not even anyone else near me. There's n there's not somebody in this room. There's not somebody here with a cue card telling me what to say. It's just me saying whatever I want to say. Shit, that's the whole reason why I made the podcast. Cause I wanted a, f I wanted a place where me and my friends could just talk. That's it. <laughs> we talk a lot. We don't. Unfortunately, we don't hang out a lot these days because like, uh, college and shit and whatnot. Like, I, I don't know. I, I feel like we, I feel like we all have potential. I feel like we all have something special. It could just be me be spitting out bullshit again, but that's what I truly feel. I don't know. I'm a man of the people. That's what I've always, that's what I've always strived to be. A man of the people. If you think I'm a man of the people, then leave a like for this video. <laughs> if you don't, I guess dislike I guess I'd be surprised if I actually found a dislike on this oh my god that even that reminds me I was surprised when I got my first dislike on the April Fool's video that was you know what I'm not even angry that I got disliked there I, I just found it funny that that was a funny project <laughs> just uninstalling a game right then and there <laughs> I'm pretty sure I mentioned this before, but honestly, if I could, like, I, I, I would rather, like, become a streamer, not gonna lie. I know that streaming takes, like, a lot more energy and whatnot, but, like, I'd be willing to put that in. Put the hours and, like, put the energy in. It's just shitty internet. <laughs> That's, I guess, shitty internet and a shitty computer to some extent because, well, you know. I just mentioned that I can't even... I just mentioned that I can't even fucking record Overwatch at 20 plus frames. So, there's that. As much as I'm saying like what I have isn't good, isn't good enough, or I guess, how should I say this? Like, I'm still grateful for what I have. Don't get me wrong, I'm still grateful for what I've had. I would rather have no computer and like, I would rather have like, 
a shitty computer, the one that I kind of have right now, and at least like have the ability to make something like this, have the ability to make content like this, rather than having no computer at all and what whatsoever and just I don't know, do nothing for summer. <laughs> I'd rather have this computer than not have it at all. But yeah, if you made it this far to the video, like I said before. If you have like a certain game or you think I should go back to the Persona, like try doing that again. Or if, you, if there's something specifically that you want to try, you want to try to see me doing, you know, just leave it in the comments. It's like leaving a like and sharing the video and it's <laughs> in general as well also helps a lot. It shows me like what you guys enjoy and whatnot. Anyways. I think that will be it for this episode. So if you liked the video, like I said before, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Pixel Love, Memento Moria, whatnot, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Holy shit, that's a lot of money. Anyways, take care, everybody.